what can you do to, to eliminate that, bring that down? More physicality be better next game. Coach, uh, John, Jaron tonight played incredible offensively, you know, had some good possessions defensively as well. Just what did you see clicking with them throughout the entire game, especially in the second half? Yeah, they were big for us tonight. I thought, uh, you know, as they changed their lineups, uh, we started utilizing J.J. Moore in ball screens. Uh, Ja was doing a great job finding him. J.J. capitalized. So uh, it's going to be a great film to go back and watch, see where we were successful, see where we weren't. Uh, But those two guys were bright spots for sure. Uh, Taylor, you always, you know, get a lot of steals and deflections against this team, but they were still able to get 31 assists today. Just how do you, you know, um, I guess, be more effective in terms of taking away those, you know, scoring opportunities that they usually create so well? Yeah, they did a great job moving the ball tonight, the way they moved it, passed it. Uh, We'll watch the film, see how we got better. I love the way our guys competed tonight. Just wasn't good enough. Taylor in the back. Um, 36 hours rest, you know, you guys finish one series, get to rest a day, come in. Just talk about the performance from your guys because they went toe-to-toe with with a very good Golden State team to the last play of the game. Yeah, super proud of our guys. Uh, you know, the effort that they gave tonight was phenomenal. There's definitely some mental lapses that we had. You know, we'll easily clean that stuff up. Um, you know, watch the film tomorrow. Just got to recover, recuperate, get ready for tomorrow to be a big day, um, you know, uh, to clean stuff up and then get ready for Tuesday's game. But super proud of these guys. For 48 minutes, they busted their tails. Um, you know, there's good and bad that comes uh, with some of the execution, but the effort was absolutely there. It was phenomenal. Uh, Taylor, uh, how did things change when Draymond gets ejected for you guys? They played pretty well in the third. Last shot. Um, what were you looking for out of the last shot? Jada to go make a play. He had a great look. Just didn't happen to go in. Coach, right here. Talk a little bit about uh, you decided to bring uh, De'Anthony Melton back in and it's- Get that spark that he hadn't been able to provide so far. Yeah, Mel was phenomenal, staying ready. Obviously, um, you know, wasn't really in the rotation at the tail end of the last series, but just has a lot of faith in him, what he's been doing all season long, staying ready. He's had a good regular season, um, you know, uh, overall, but especially against the Warriors. He was a huge boost for us tonight. Good stuff defensively, but obviously his shot making, 50-50 uh, plays, winning uh, winning plays uh, throughout the game. He was great tonight. Coach, just want to revisit the the Draymond ejection there. Um, sometimes it, it seems like in the NBA there's a tendency when players are not available, the other team kind of has a letdown. Did, did you sense that at all, that your guys kind of, the things that Draymond brings to the table is not going to be there? So maybe some of those aspects that you may be preached before the game didn't happen in that third quarter? Uh, they played well in the third quarter. They made tons of shots. It was a heck of a third quarter back and forth. Um, they just made a few more plays. Uh, Taylor, you have been playing, you know, Desmond Bain a lot, especially, you know, in the last series. Uh, Was him playing less today? Was there anything going on with him? Or was that more De'Anthony Melton, you know, just providing the spark that he did? Yeah, I mean, I thought Des was, you know, good today. Not not at, um, you know, to the level that he was uh, the last couple of games. Mel was really good. You know, we were just kind of riding the flow of, you know, who was playing well for us. You know, I mean, he still played 30 minutes, not trying to play guys 40 plus minutes. I mean, it's a long series right now. Coach, right here, a little bit about uh, it seemed like the Warriors got a couple of backdoor wide open plays there. What what happened on those? Especially- yeah, we just got to have better weak side defense. <clears throat> Taylor in the back again. Um, with everything that Jaron went through in that first round series where, you know, really couldn't stay on the floor for him to give you the kind of performance he did today, especially in that third quarter that kind of kept you guys in it. You got to be happy with the way he stepped up tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's had two huge bounce back games. Uh, I think his activity and discipline have been phenomenal. Um, obviously, knocking down shots, you know, just plays with confidence. There was a stretch there. I think he picked up a couple fouls, but just had a lot of faith that when he was going to get back in the game, he was going to make an impact. He was great tonight. You went through this in the last series where you, you lose a, you know, kind of a game that probably was a little disheartening for different reasons against Minnesota. How do, how do you allow it not to create negative momentum for this series since it's coming so rapid fire right here? Do what we've done all season, uh, wake up tomorrow, uh, rest, recover, watch the film, get better, and come out and compete hard on Tuesday. Thanks, Thanks everyone.